Google Analytics can capture 200 data points about your users and sessions automatically. GA can also capture custom data off your website based on your specific tracking needs. Some examples of this custom data can include user ID, logged in status, and content categories. In classic Google Analytics, this custom data is stored in custom variables directly on the page source. With Universal Analytics, custom variables have been renamed to custom dimensions and an extra validation step has been added for better tracking. In the interface of Universal Analytics, you will see the new section for setting up custom dimensions under custom definitions in the admin panel. Step 1 of setting up a custom dimension when using Universal Analytics will be to create it here. For example, here is the custom dimension for user ID. The way you name your custom dimensions here is how it will show up in your reports. The second step is implementing the tracking code on your site to capture this custom data, similarly to how Classic GA tracks custom variables. Note, migrating from Classic GA to Universal Analytics will cause custom variables to stop tracking in the interface and through the API, and any process leveraging custom variables will need to be recreated using custom dimensions for Universal Analytics. For example, Custom variables have standard reports and interface, as shown here for custom variable 1, which happens to be user ID. Notice around March 15th there is a drop-off. This is when we migrated this property to Universal Analytics. Now, new custom reports will need to be created using the new custom dimension name, shown here as Tag Inspector User ID. Notice how tracking started around March 15th in this report. Again, this is the time we migrated this property from Classic GA to Universal Analytics. This same process will need to be replicated for any dashboard leveraging custom variables. Recreating your dashboards and reports to leverage custom dimensions instead of custom variables is fairly easy. If you look at how your dashboard or report is built currently using custom variables, you'll notice that the dimension is set for a custom variable with the value or key to the custom variable number you're referencing. To update this or to create a new dashboard or report, you simply go into your configuration of that dashboard or report and update it to the name of the custom dimension now being used in place of that old custom variable. In this case, custom variable 1 was the same as user ID, and we renamed that to a custom dimension called tag inspector user ID, shown earlier in the video. Similarly, within custom reports, you do the same type of configuration update. So if I'm looking at this custom report here, and I go into the settings, you'll notice that there is no reference to custom variable 1 anymore. I updated it to the custom dimension Tag Inspector logged in. You'll notice that custom variables are still available to create historical reports because no historical data is removed from Google Analytics. It's simply the data collected from the point you migrate your tag to Universal Analytics moving forward when you need to use your new custom dimensions. To learn more about custom dimensions in Universal Analytics, check out the link in the description below. Universal Analytics, a better way to collect data. Happy analyzing!